Right, let's get to the biology predictions for the leaving cert, shall we? Okay then. These are quite comprehensive. Biology is one of my favourites, actually, I have to say. Right, now let's see. So we'll start off with the ordinary level biology. And these topics are listed in order of most likely to least likely. Um, so for the long question, section C we're talking about, of course. Um, the most likely topics are in this order. Genetics, goes without saying. Ecology, pretty much goes without saying. Uh, number three, respiration. Number four, human reproduction. Um, number five, urinary system. Number six, xylem, phloem, and all that shit. Um, or if you rather, plant vascular tissue. Seven, photosynthesis. Eight, bacteria and viruses. Nine, nervous system. Ten, skeletons and muscles. Uh, number 11, plant sex. And number 12, heart and blood. So they're the most likely for the ordinary level biology. Now, experiments. Um, so we list these again in order of the most likely to least likely. Number one, to show the effect of temperature on enzyme action. Number two, a quadrat study. Number three, to investigate the effect of exercise on pulse or breathing rate. Number four, to show the effect of pH on enzyme action. Number five, oh God, I'm starting to bore myself even. Can you believe that? <clears throat> Number five, to test for protein or reducing sugar. Or there could be like a question, food tests in general. That's very likely to come up this year, I think. Number six, show effect of light or CO, CO2 concentration on the rate of photosynthesis. Number seven, demonstrate osmosis. Eight, viewing plant cells under a microscope. Or nine, show digest digestive activity during germination. germination. That is our ordinary level biology for this year. Now let's go higher. Now, with this one, we'll start off, I'll do it actually in reverse order. We'll start with section C, then B, then A. So we'll start with the long questions for this. And once again, these are listed from the most likely down to the least likely. Um, the first two are no-brainers. You know, you get these every year. So number one, genetics. Number two, ecology. Number three, the endocrine system. Number four, the urinary system. Number five, respiration. Number six, human reproduction. Number seven, heart, blood, lymph. Number eight, viruses. Number nine, yeast or other fungi. Number 10, the eye. Uh, number 11, tropisms. Number 12, the nervous system. So that's for your long questions in section C, listed in order. I'll also um, put little screenshots of these documents and paste them into the end of the video. So if you want to look a, more, a closer look at these, you can. Now, section B, the experiment section. Um, I think the most likely one this year is to immobilize an enzyme and use it. Number two, to demonstrate osmosis. Number three, prepare and examine a transverse section of a dicotyledonous stem. Dicot stem, let's just leave it at that. Um, number four, the effect of CO2 concentration or light on the rate of photosynthesis. Number five, to test for protein, test for reducing sugar, I think an overall question on food tests in general is due up some year soon. It could be this year. Um, six, effect of temperature on enzyme action. Number seven, to show the effect of pH on enzyme activity. Eight, a quantitative study of a plant or an animal. Number nine, to dissect the heart. Number ten, the scientific method in general. Like, do you know the experiment you got last year about the frog spawn, the tadpoles? That weird experiment that isn't actually on the course that kind of a thing where they're just testing to see do you know how to apply the scientific method to any experiment that kind of question is likely again this year 11 show factors essential for seed germination 11 used uh, yeast for ethanol production although that's more likely to come up in section c than section b weirdly enough 13 investigate growth of leaf yeast and 14 show the effect of the growth regulator iaa and there we go their experiments now finally and least consequentially because the short questions in every subject are very difficult to predict. In fact, you could, there's an argument could be made that it's pointless. However, I've done it anyway. And in order of likelihood, here's what I think will come up for the short questions on higher level. Number one, food and nutrients. Number two, genetic crosses. 
Number three, ecology in general. Number four, genetics in general. Number five, the digestive system. Number six, human reproduction. Number seven, the scientific method. Number eight, nervous system. Number nine, skeleton and muscle. And number 10, homeostasis. Now, as I said before, what I'll do is I'll put little photographs of this, these documents in just now in a second after I finish talking. So if you want to pause on them and have a closer look, by all means, go ahead. Good luck in your biology.